Hi, my name is Kurt from Code Crafters. This video is from my Roblox Masterclass course, which you can find more about in the description below. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at um, one of the first tools that we're going to be using, the Move tool, okay? Um, now, before we do that, um, we need to have a look at something called a part, okay? Now, parts are the building blocks to your game, okay? Um, any game you see on Roblox is being created, it is being made out of little objects called parts, okay? Um, now, a part is just a brick that you can add into your game and you can change all kinds of its properties, move it around, make it bigger, rotate it, and you use those to build up a much bigger, larger game, okay? Um, we're going to talk about parts um, in a bit more detail as we go along the course. Um, for now, that's all you really need to know, okay? Um, but we are going to then add that a part into our game. So to add a part into our game, um, you want to first make sure this menu here at the top is open. If it looks something like this, it means you pressed this little arrow here. Left click that to toggle that on, okay? I recommend keeping that on as you're learning, as um, all of the options and stuff you're going to be commonly using will be up here, okay? Also make sure you're in the home section. There are a couple of different sections that you could um, be in, and um, while there are other, op other options in those sections that we will come on to, at the moment, we're just looking at the home section. Go over to find the insert um, part over here, insert um, area over here, and you'll see three options, toolbox, part, and UI. Um, hover over the part and hover over the little cube and just simply left click and you have now got a part into your game, okay? So let's go over to the part. You can see it's just like a rectangle kind of shape that's into our game, okay? Um, we do also have this. This is a spawn point. Um, that's where the player loads. But um, even though it might look similar to the part, you don't use those to make up your game. Um, you, you would be using parts to make up your buildings and things like that. Um, so, the first thing we're going to learn um, is the move is, is the move tool, which allows you to move this part around. Now, the move tool works um, on three what we call axes. Now, to understand this, to understand what axes are a bit better, I would recommend going over to the view section. So, go over to where we're currently in home, up at the top, and click on view. And um, click under Actions, there's a View Selector. Um, it may already be on. Um, if, it, if it's not on, left click on that and it will appear at the top of your screen here, okay? And this is a really good way to understand what the axes are. So axes are um, invisible lines that exist in your game, okay? And there are three lines. One's called the X, one's called the Y, and one's called the Z. So if we have a look here, um, you can see the X kind of goes up and down, as wherever we are, the X is always goes forward. If we go this way, um, if I use it that way, it might be a bit easier to understand. Um, the X um, axis always goes forward. The Z axis goes to the right, so this way, towards the right of my screen, and the Y, it kind of goes vertically, it goes up, okay? And those three axes are going to be crucial when it comes to using these tools, okay? Let's go back to the home section and let's actually have a look at the move tool. First thing you need to do is select the move tool. So currently, you probably have the select tool um, selected. So you want to move your mouse over to the move tool left click on that and um, you've now got the move tool selected. Now you have the correct tool selected, we now want to select the correct object. So we are wanting to move the part around, that's the object we're going to want to be moving around. So hover over the part and left click and this icon here should appear, okay? Um, 
And this shows the direction of the free axis, okay? The x axis, you see over here is in red, um, and the x arrows are also in red here. So the colors match up to what we see in this thing over here, which has a name, it's called the view selector, okay? So um, we have the x arrows, which are going along the x axis, the y arrows, which go along the y axis, and the z arrows, which go along the z axis. Let's say we want to move this along the x axis. Well, what all we need to do is hover over one of the arrows and see it, make, it becomes bigger when you hover over it. Once it becomes bigger, hold down, left click, and you can then move your mouse left to right, and you can see it moves along quite nicely there, okay? If you want, you can also use the other arrow, does the same thing, um, you're moving along the same axis. Let's say you want to move it along the Y axis. You can use the green arrows, to move it up and move it down. If you move it down, it might disappear, that's fine. It's basically going under the base plate. The base plate um, is this massive, um, if I zoom out a bit, you can almost see it, this massive kind of square here. And technically, this massive square is just a part. But if it moves underneath it, um, you might not be able to see it. So um, just be aware of that one. And then finally, to move along the z-axis, it's no different. You just hover over the blue arrows and move it across like that there, okay? So this is a really good way to move your parts around. And I would highly recommend using the move tool for this one. You could alternatively drag it around by just holding, um, by just hovering over the, the actual part and just holding down and moving it around like this. So not by pressing any of the arrows, but just holding down the middle of the part. I wouldn't recommend doing that personally because it's not as accurate. You can't move it in straight lines and you also can't move it up. Um, so I would recommend sticking to this move tool as it allows you to do all three, okay? So um, that is the first tool that you would have learned, the move tool. And in our next lessons, we're going to learn how to use the scale tool and how to use the rotate tool. So get comfortable with that, move, add some parts in and move them, start moving them around, get comfortable with that tool and then join me in the next lesson where we'll go over the scale tool.